This is Brian Rogers for the BBK Performance R&D and Technical Support Department to show you how quickly and easily you can add even more horsepower, torque, and throttle response to your 2011 Mustang GT using our cold air induction system, part number 1768. Let's get started by unplugging the mass air sensor, removing the strut tower brace and the decorative engine cover to gain access to the cold air induction system mounting points. Use pliers to lock the clamp open on the sound tube and pull the sound and PCV tubes away from the induction hose. Now loosen the hose clamps and remove the induction tube. Note that automatic transmission cars have an additional vacuum tube that needs to be disconnected as well, as shown here. Remove the airbox hold down bolt and lift the unit out of the car. Then remove the snorkel for the airbox by pulling it toward the firewall. Carefully pry up on the center of the push-in pins to remove the radiator cover. Then remove the driver side radiator hold down bracket. Begin assembling the BBK cold air induction system by bolting the hold down studs to the filter shield. Then Place the hold down grommets from the bottom of the factory airbox over the studs. Push the seal strip onto the top edge of the BBK filter shield and remove the mass air sensor from the stock airbox. Transfer the mass air sensor to the BBK inlet tube with the opening in the sensor facing the straight end of the tube using the supplied bolts. If the vehicle has a manual transmission, place the supplied vacuum cap over the small nipple on the inlet tube. Place the filter over the filter base and attach using the large supplied hose clamp. Back at the car, guide the studs and grommets in the heat shield into the holes in the fender apron while guiding the tab over the radiator mounting post. Then secure the shield with the original bolt and the radiator mounting bracket. Route the sound tube under the heat shield and secure it to the heat shield by pushing the rubber mounting stud up through the hole in the bottom of the shield. Place one of the supplied couplers over the throttle body and secure it with a supplied hose clamp. Slide another hose clamp over the coupler, leaving it loose. From here, you can place the inlet tube into the coupler with the straight end protruding through the heat shield and attach the sound tube to it with the original clamp. Place the remaining coupler and clamps over the end of the inlet tube. Then place the end of the filter base into the coupler and tighten the two clamps to secure it and the loose clamp that's on the throttle body. Reattach the PCV hose and if you have an automatic transmission, you'll connect the vacuum hose. Plug in the mass air sensor and finalize the assembly by reinstalling the radiator cover, decorative engine cover, and the strut tower brace. Let's put the 1768 cold air induction system to the test on the dyno. Alright, an additional 12 horsepower and 12 foot-pounds, pretty much all the way across the RPM range. That's excellent usable power gain with no additional tuning. Not bad for a 20 minute install. For more information on this or any of the hundreds of parts that BBK makes for late model cars and trucks, check out bbkperformance.com where you can search for parts directly for your vehicle or search by product category. At bbkperformance.com you can also watch fun and informative product detail and installation videos or download instruction sheets. If you're looking for a local distributor in your area, you can find that on our website too with our dealer locator. BBKPerformance.com even has a library of magazine articles from years of independent testing for you to review. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the BBK homepage and blog to see what's new. Thanks for watching.